let's check in on the bond market with uh, Jessica Russett from Fig Securities. Jessica, I should say various bond markets. Now, US yields were flat overnight. What was driving that? Good afternoon, Helen. Thanks for having me. That's right, we did have US bond yields flat and, and that's due to the demand just easing that we were seeing last week. Uh, we had no economic news released overnight and also uh, Trump's political woes. There's no new news that's been released there either. And so it was pretty subdued. We had the, uh, the two-year flat at 1.27% and that 10-year was flat at 2.23%. Okay, so what is I mean, we've got the FOMC May minutes this week. What's that going to do to bonds? So this is actually quite uh, a key and critical uh, minutes that we're seeing released. This will be the last minutes released before June, which is the anticipated um, meeting that will have that, that rate hike. So we'll really be looking at these minutes for any clues um, if they will go ahead with the June rate hike, if there'll be another rate hike after that, and also if there's any um, mention whatsoever on the normalisation on the balance sheet too. Yeah, all right. So what about Australian government bond yields? They're slightly higher. That's right, Helen. They were slightly higher. We had them actually uh, quite low last week on that the Trump turmoil. Uh, we had the five-year almost breaking through 2%. That's now at 2.027%. And the 10-year... Year yield as well uh, was at its one of its six month lows as well last week, and we're currently seeing that at 2.49 per cent. And just very quickly, SP downgrades almost all of the Australian smaller and regional banks by one notch. Yeah, this has actually been big news today in the bond markets. Uh, 23 financial, Australian financial institutions have been uh, impacted by this. The major five, which include Inquiry, uh, has been uh, reaffirmed and is on a uh, negative outlook. But it is those uh, smaller and regional banks. Uh, we've seen uh, the basis points and some of those bonds move uh, three to ten basis points wider on that news. So we'll see where the, the news settles on that, but it has been quite significant. All right, Jessica Russett from Fig Securities, thanks so much for joining us. Good to speak to you. Good afternoon, Helen.